This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. We appreciate y'all watching. We're very excited today to bring you a little sneak peek type review of the new uh, light bearing holsters from Manny over at Gladiator Concealment. Um, these things are the freaking bomb diggity. <laughs> yeah, guys. Um, I mean, if you've been following me on the channel and following me on uh, Instagram, uh, you'll see my carry setups. Um, nowhere in there do you see my carry setup involving... My TLR one HL, uh, but that has changed. Yeah, um, there's a lot going on with this holster. Um, there's a lot of stuff we're gonna we're gonna hit you with, um, but the main thing is that we're actually carrying these inside the waistband. Yep. Um, there's my 19 with the TLR one, and um, some guys are gonna go really. You're carrying a TLR one inside the waistband. Yeah, yeah we really are. Yeah, dog, we do. Uh, we really are. Um, these things are just phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. And uh, it's a new mold that he's using. And um, we're going to actually do a comparison video with uh, with uh, Bravo. Bravo Concealment and um, and show you the, the, the difference. Just the, I mean, these things are just, they're fantastic. But uh, we'll kind of go over some of the things that's, that's going on with this holster. And I guess we'll start off with the... Um, with the clips, these are some in new clips that Manny's got. They're um, they're like the inside. They're a tuckable inside the waistband clip. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're made by Raven, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but they're they're really nice. They have some flex to them, so they'll move. They'll move with you, and um, you can also pull them out, like we said, and tuck your shirt in. They have these. Um, and we'll get some close up footage. Um, that will we'll roll in, but they have these holes pre-cut where you can put the screws in and you can actually adjust the cant on the clip. So if you've got a holster, like Kyle likes a lot of cant, a lot of cant in his holster. Um, I don't need as much, but I do like to, I do need cant for it to conceal. Uh, usually the standard, you know, 10 degree or whatever works for me just fine. Um, but with these, you can actually adjust it side to side to give you more cant. And then Kyle actually has one strut running a little bit lower than the other, which cocks his holster on up, you know. Uh, by the time you do his, it's, I mean, it's got some serious cant in it. Yeah, and the reason for that is, guys, is just where we conceal in our body yep. types. Uh, Michael's going to carry at 3 o'clock position. I'm carrying, you know, around 4.30, 5 o'clock. So, uh, you know, for this, for the handle of the gun to fit, up against like close to my body I need that can't yep uh, otherwise you know it kind of sticks out to the side so that can't gives me that concealment that I need and uh, you know talking about this um, I was running uh, Michael's Bravo light bearing holster for a while because um, I've had the uh, TLR1 HL uh, for what three three four yeah, months three months and uh, I, I just you know needed a holster to run it with so uh, Michael sent me, you know, his, and he's like, here, you know, try this one out. There was no way I could conceal this gun with that holster. Yep. Um, but Manny, Manny, what Manny's done, and uh, one reason why I'll say I can conceal this holster uh, is because, like, this holster has a wider print to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, some of y'all may be thinking, oh, well, you know, that's just you know, more material, you know, more to conceal, blah, blah, blah. That, that's not really how it works when it comes to concealment. Um, that's one reason why people are so comfortable carrying uh, crossbreed style holsters is because that, you know, the style of that holster where it's wider, it kind of 
distributes the weight across your belt and it kind of kind of fits you better. Well, this style of holster, this water holster, and if you look at some of my ADC holsters like my Lag Tactical, it's it, it is a water holster, and it's because of where I wear it. Yep. Um, and for me personally, like uh, Manny has hit a home run with this holster, and it 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 it's changed my ADC. Like I can now I can now conceal my light. Yeah, um, I. I was really excited about getting these because I wanted to see if I could do it, um, and and yeah, I have no issues with it. It's just as comfortable as when I was carrying my Gladiator before with no light. So if it's just as comfortable and it conceals just as well, why not? Why not? I mean, why yeah. not? Um, the the benefits to having a light on your gun, we could do a whole nother video about that. Yeah. So we're not going to get into that. Just trust me, it's 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 way better. To have a light on your gun if you well, can make it happen. Let's 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 talk about just a little aspect of that. Okay, uh, active self protection posted an article. Uh, I, don't, I don't, he didn't write it, but he was reposting it. But it was uh, it was like solving the active shooter movie theater equation. Yeah. Uh, and this solves that problem. Yep. I mean that that right there solves the problem. Yep. Um, and you know most of your shootings occur at night. Yep. You know, uh, the reason and the main reason why we run a TLR one is for home defense purposes, right? Because you've got to be able to identify your target in your home. Yep. So you don't shoot your kids, you don't shoot your, you know, your girl, your daughter's boyfriend, whatever, yep. whatever. Um, but you got to be able to identify your target. And most shootings happen at night. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's a reason to carry a light. I mean, most of your cops. Run lights. Right, most of them run lights. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason. So uh, there's multiple, multiple advantages, and we'll, we'll talk about that in the actual TLR1 video. Yep. Yeah. But uh, guys, if you can conceal a light, do it. Do it. Do it. And, and I always looked at the um, the Surefire XC1, um, and I'm still not 100% sure that if Manny comes out with an XC1 holster that that won't, that won't be my go-to for just everyday carry. Just because it's, it's just... It's a slimmer profile. I'll um, tell you what, we've got an XC1 on the channel coming. Yeah, yeah, we got my one brother. Coming, my brother so. bought one, and he's got a holster on the way to conceal it. So, so, but um, I can't conceal this. So until that day happens, I'll I'll be running this. Um, another thing about this holster, and it's something that we'll get into a more in depth conversation about on the uh, on the on the um, comparison. comparison video, thank you, is that um, he actually cut these down where they're not so round. He, uh, I don't know if he like worked on the mold or bought a different mold. I don't know what he did. I don't want to give away his secrets. But I know that instead of this being rounded, like every other light bearing holster out there, this is very flat on the front and the back, which yeah. makes it a lot more comfortable and a lot easier to conceal. Um, less bulk. It's less bulk. It's just not as wide. And um, that's something that's really, really awesome. And um, another thing is um, something that you get with this holster that I don't know, I don't know that anybody else is doing. Um, maybe, there might be somebody doing it, but you get a pop. You get a pop retention. Yeah. Um, most holsters out there, uh, light bearing holsters, if not all, I don't, I don't know, I can't think of me off the top of my head, but most of them out there are a friction retention. Um, they put a lot of friction on the light, and that's where all the retention's at. And so it just squeezes down on that light really hard, and that's what holds it in place. Manny actually has a secret, and I'm not going to show you or tell you what it is. If you buy one, you'll figure it out. But um, he has a way of doing it where it actually has a pop, a click retention where it pops into place. Uh, gun's not going anywhere. It's going to stay where you want it, where it needs to be. Uh, but just like with every other Gladiator concealment product I've ever had, it's a very smooth draw. I, 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 and I don't know that I've ever really got into how, how smooth the draw is on his stuff. The fit and finish, guys. I mean, I, you know, you've, hear, you've heard us mention it several times, and I don't know if that's just like the cliche thing to say, the fit and finish, the fit yeah. and finish. But like, we're serious, guys. Like, he makes good stuff. He puts time into it. Yep. And uh, he's... He's really perfecting his craft, guys. I run uh, his his mag pouches every day. Um, I've been running my dedicated 26 holster anytime I carry my Glock 27, um, and I will be running this one as well. Um, it's, I mean, it's solid in it. I was like, this is this is the most excited I've been 
about about you know a test product in yeah. a while. Yeah. Well, I I will say, and I'm not going to give it away, but the next thing he's sending us to test is pretty sweet. Yeah. So, but we'll we'll I'll be able to use it. Yeah. Well, hand him. Yeah. So it's one of those things that uh we love our stuff from Gladiator. Manny makes great stuff. Um, and I guess really the last thing, guys, before we let y'all go. Uh, he's actually opening a website. It's actually a legit website. He's still going to keep the eBay store. The eBay store is going to be his like his quick ship items. So uh, you'll be able to click on it, go over there, and buy your stuff that's already pre-made, and it's and it'll ship out like you know you'll get it within a few days or whatever a week or so. Um, but his custom stuff is going to be on the website. We will have links from now on in in the description box to his website and his eBay store. And um, we're really excited for Manny. He's a great dude, good family man, hardworking guy, and um, he makes just quality products. And he's uh, a shooter. And he's a shooter, and not just a shooter. He trains, like he he yeah. he, he trains and things like that. Um, that's in, that's important. You can't ask for anything better than that. Yeah. Um, we're we're very very proud to be working with him. We're very proud that he is our a sponsor for us, and um, we just. Hope I mean, on, honestly, we're I mean we're lucky to have him. We're very lucky to have him. Uh, you know, otherwise, uh, we wouldn't be able to bring you all this stuff. Yeah. You know, because uh, you know he's been more than generous with us, and yeah. uh, and you know the great thing about this relationship is is guys we can like get his product in, and we don't have to worry about oh man, you know, I hope it's. I hope it's solid. I hope because yep. I really don't want to have to, you know, say something. Because yep. you know, we review a lot of, you know, a lot of gear, and you know, sometimes we. The main thing is we have to be honest with y'all. We can't get in a product and be like, yeah, yep. it's great, it's great, go buy it, you know. But with his gear, that we don't have to worry about. Like worry about we that. know that if we send y'all to Manny to get a product. We're good to go. Yep, it's going to be good. It's going to be what you yeah. want. And um, Manny's going to take care of you. That's the thing about him. Yep. Um, if you ever was to have an issue, which I don't think you would, but if you ever was, if you contact him, he'll take care of you. He'll make sure it's right. Yeah. Um, and for you guys that sh you know run outside the waistband stuff? Yeah. 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 That's the thing about this. This was actually sent to us in an outside the waistband configuration. Um, I, it was sent with the wide the 1.5, the angled wide loops, and a set of the wings. Um, and then he threw in the inside the waistband clips because I I told him we wanted to try to conceal it. And um, so he threw those in too. And um, outside the waistband, psh. but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I, I run, I trust my life to it every day inside the waistband too. No issues yeah. there. Never have had a single issue with it. Yeah. Um, we run inside the waistband, guys. We're not... We're not IDPA shooters. No, no. I, I, I have a couple of outside the waistband holsters, but they, they don't ever get used. Yeah. They never get used. Anyways, you got anything else, man? No, man. Uh, thanks, Manny. Uh, yeah, thanks, brother. You uh, you knocked one out of the park with us, some guy. Yep. I'm telling you. Um, and y'all go check him out. Yep, check him out. Guys, we appreciate y'all watching. Uh, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, YouTube's been kind of crazy, and they're knocking all of us gun channels down. So, uh Share, share, share. Um, that I think that's the only way we can ever. We had a little bounce back yeah. lately. I'm more the numbers guy. Like I watch the analytics and all that. I'm a nerd. So uh, you know, we got we took a big hit, and we actually for the first time uh, since I've been on the channel, we actually had a negative day in subscribers. That's never happened yeah. again before. YouTube so, some kind of algorithm change. Yeah. So guys. You know, one thing that we talked about doing, and I guess I'll mention in this video, if, you, if you've if you got a favorite video of ours, one that you like, ones that you think your, you know, your family, your friends would benefit from, share it with them, you know, post it on Facebook, whatever, and, uh, you know, they're, YouTube, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we like to keep, you know, growing this community, and uh, we love interacting with you. But, uh, you know, like, like I said, if you've got a video that you feel like is worth sharing, we would like for you to share it. Yep. Yeah. 
Guys, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below, or you can jump over to the Facebook page. We can always get into a more in-depth conversation there. Uh, we will, always, like always, leave links to all of our social media outlets in the description box below. But anyways, guys, we appreciate y'all watching, and y'all be safe.